You have to look around at what's going on in the world right now and think one thing. If there's one conclusion you could draw of the agenda and how it's impacted humanity, what is the biggest way it's impacted humanity? It's separated us. 100% separated us. Where do all the best conversations happen about what's going on in the world? In the bars, in the pubs, in the restaurants, right? What about canceling holidays and <laughs> making people scared to go to their families' houses to talk about what the hell's been going on for the last year? No, no, no. Cancel. Cancel. What are they doing? They're separating people in every way. And the mask, with all the symbolism that the mask has, to slavery and bondage and ownership and BDSM sexuality, sick sexuality, with all the other other all the other symbolism the mask has, not to mention you can't breathe like a human. It separates people. All of a sudden no one's even looking at each other anymore, let alone talking. I challenge you to make eye contact with somebody next time you go in the grocery store without saying anything. It didn't used to be hard to do. You smiled at people. You saw a cute girl, you smiled at her, she smiled back, you know? Oops, that's gone. Can't do that anymore. Can't smile at a cute girl. <laughs> you think that's not on purpose? Because, hey, who knows? You smile at a cute girl, she smiles back. You might end up falling in love and having five children. And destroying the enemy's plans of destroying humanity. And that's what's going on. It's separating people. This whole thing, it cannot be carried out without separating people in every single way. I was talking to someone who was becoming very close to me earlier tonight. and We were talking about Adam and Eve and, and, and the serpent and how that all started. And, you know, the very first attack that the enemy ever played was against man and woman separate man and woman it's the only way to destroy humanity which is the is is the goal of lucifer is destroy humanity because lucifer understands the power that we have we have dominion <laughs> we have dominion over the earth god gave it to us he's convinced us that he has dominion that he's the god of the earth now nah, we're the royals of the earth those of us who understand who our creator is and are saved by him and brought into his kingdom. We're the royalty of the earth. Go back and listen to my video. It's called the Ermine Story in my podcast at avoidthemark.com slash podcast. Listen to the Ermine Story. It's a really cool story that happened to me and uh, it applies to all of us. We are royalty. And so Lucifer has spent... Ever since human creation, whatever you believe that exactly is, ever since human creation, it's, it's been Lucifer's first move to separate man from woman. And he did it by going to the woman. He didn't do it by going to the man. He did it by going to the woman because he knew that the woman was man's weakness. And he was trying to get to man, to deceive man. He used woman to deceive man. Because women make men weak you know this is how it is <laughs> but it was a separation he had to separate the intimacy that that adam and eve had like i don't think we can comprehend what the garden of eden was because it was god's perfect creation god's perfect creation is man woman earth and Yahweh is the head of it all, right? Yahweh, man, woman, earth. It's perfect. It's perfect alignment. Everything is in perfect alignment. Love is in perfect alignment. Power is in perfect alignment. Everything is perfect. That was perfection. So we, you know, we can't fathom walking with God, literally walking with Yahweh. Impurity. 
as man and woman. Naked, because what did you have to be ashamed of, right? It's pure love. And that's all God ever wanted. That was God's creation. That's where he's taken us back. And so Lucifer has done, has, has done this relentless battle from day one to day, they tell us the year is 2021, whatever that means. On whatever calendar you want to pick, they call it 2021 this year. And um, it's never changed. He's just made it worse than it's ever been in, the, in, in human history right now, you know? You know, they say there's more of us than there's ever been. I question population. I do. I question everything. They tell me there's seven and a half billion people on the earth or eight, close to eight billion now or whatever, and it keeps increasing, 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 increasing. I'm like, where is it increasing? Because nobody's having children and, and really haven't been my whole life. Like I look at all the friends I've had and stuff like that. I can't think of a single one that's had more children than them. You know, two children, most one, even more zero. It's been going that way for quite a while. So they pretend there's this huge population boom and, I think that's all a bunch of garble. I think it's crap. I don't think there's 8 billion people in the world. Prove it to me. I don't, it's just the number you throw at me. You could tell me it's 8 trillion. What, what does that mean? You know? It's incomprehensible. So, uh, but even if there were that many, even if there were that many, um, Lucifer needs less. No matter how many people there are, he needs less. Because the more of us, the more power we have when we understand who we are in our creator Yahweh the more power we have we overwhelm the enemy and so he's trying to shut us down he's trying to shut down humanity that's really what's happening We're shutting off humanity masking you up walk around like a zombie and you're done you're over that's what you've been told for a year you're over we're done with you we don't need you anymore. We'll, pl we'll pick a few of you to serve us. That's where this is going. And I can't believe if you don't see it, I can't believe you don't see it. You're, you're looking through uh, looking through rose-colored colored glasses <laughs> if you can't see what's been going on in this world, man. Snap out of it. It's crazy how you can't see this. Turn off your TV. For once, just turn it off and think for yourself. Whoever the hell I'm talking to right now, it's, it's gotten old. Get out of it, man. Snap out of it. <laughs> it's pitiful. You're smarter than that. They're lying to you. Damn. Somebody needs to hear that right now. You know who you are. I know it. <laughs> I know it. What the heck was I even talking about? Us coming together so um, God has always told us come out of the world my people come out and we've always heard that we've always thought yeah I need to come out of the world I guess it's kind of a spiritual thing or something it's not what it is it's literally come out of the world my people serve me serve me he'll make us so happy I can tell you, man, I can tell you I've never been happier in my life than I sit here right now. Because I'm just, I'm just listening to God. I'm just listening to his voice. I'm listening to him. I want to hear him. I want to hear where things are going. I'm telling you, you could, if you're not having this experience with him, I'm nobody special. All I do is have a genuine heart for finally in my life for God. I know I said it earlier today, but it's so important. It's so important to remember this, just to have a heart for God. And he adds everything else to you. It's so simple. He's always told us, God is not complicated. Not in our daily lives at all. He's simple. He, he keeps it so we can understand it. We're the ones who complicate it all the time. Go back and listen to my video about hearing the voice of, hearing the voice of God at avoidthemark.com slash podcast. And listen to all of them, please. I think there's a lot of good stuff. God is, God is just using me right now for his vessel. To talk to you. To talk to you in particular. Specifically. I know my audience isn't big. but 
my audience is important. We're the people, man. We are the power of this world. We're the people of the Almighty. We have dominion over this earth. We own it. God gave it to us. Man, woman, earth. Man, woman, earth. I'm telling you, God is going to start aligning, aligning men and women, men and women, men and women. Feel it coming because I know it is. It's happening. It's going to happen. It's almost be effortless. Just follow it. Just do it. Get rid of traditional ways of thinking because those don't work. That's of the system. That's the, that's the dead system that's over. Get rid of those old traditional ways of thinking. Follow what God is telling you. Again, listen to that podcast. But hearing the voice of God, I think there's really good things in there. Really good things. So know when you're hearing the voice of God and when you're not. And when you hear the voice of God, you know it. And you got to act on it. You can't rationalize it. It's how we get together. It's how we as people are going to get together. God's going to have to make this happen because we're all secluded. You know, there's a reason they call it a podcast. A podcast. I'm making a podcast. Well, that, you know, I'm sitting in a pod casting, you know, making a broadcast in a pod all by myself in a little pod. That's exactly what I'm doing. So it's all I can do right now. I can't talk to you in person. <laughs> and even if I could, it would have to be at your house or mine because I'm not putting on a mask to go in no bar or nothing, <laughs> you know? got to get rid of these old uh these old ways of thinking that's the biggest problem right now these old ways of thinking about doing things that that uh that are in, li in line with the system because we're not going to get together if we're if we're still thinking along those lines anything to do with with this old system that's dead it's dead it's dead it's dead it's over they're rebuilding a new one and we can't be in it we can't god's people the true people of the almighty our creator we can't be in it. We can't. We won't survive it. We'll lose ourselves. Come together right now. We have to. I think it's going to take... Uh, it's going to just take simple obedience. I was going to say something else, man. No. It's going to take simple obedience to make this happen. I don't care where you are in your life. You have no idea what I've been through. No idea. And where I've landed now and where God's directed me and what's happened to me in the last week. And uh, it's, um, God is unbelievable. I've noticed more and more in my videos, I keep saying the word unbelievable. And it always reminds me of, of, uh, uh, Heathcliff Huxtable of uh, the Cosby Show, and uh, Malcolm Jamal Warner what was what was his name Theo Theo, <laughs> and that was kind of one of his catchphrases was unbelievable, and I kind of say it like him. I, it kind of annoys me, but 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 it's how I feel. God is unbelievable. <laughs> what he does is unbelievable. You just follow with simple obedience. He'll give you. Exactly what he's always wanted for you. What he's wanted for you since creation. Man, woman, earth. Man, woman, earth. Woman was made for man. Man is head of the woman. Christ is head of the man. Man, woman have dominion over the earth. It's so simple. It's not even, I mean, it's not even a complicated equation. So what are we doing as men and women? What are we doing? I've talked about this, I guess, ad nauseum at this point. But what are we doing? Why are we battling each other? You know, I want you. You want me. Um, why do we battle? Why do we do that? It's because we're playing into the hands of the enemy. And we've been bombarded by propaganda our entire lives intended to tear us apart. As men and women, I'm not even going to talk about the separation, you know, the race separation and the political separation. That's all ancillary. I'm talking about men and women. The power we have together. Oh, man. Man. This independence thing, being independent, was all a lie from the very, very beginning. The proud, independent woman. You know, a proud, independent man. It was all a lie from the very beginning. 
And maybe there's some weird people that are happy that way. Maybe there's some really weird people that are genuinely go to bed at night happy at, at 48 years old, all alone in their bed with plenty of money and nobody that gives a shit about them. Maybe there are people like that and they're happy. Those people could exist, but man, uh, I would never want to be one of them. And I would never want to be around one of them. This is a miserable person. You know, we're made to be as one. God made us to be as one. And to be fruitful and multiply. That's what he told us. We got to start looking at that again. I'm 44. I'm 44. Understand what I'm saying. I know I've mentioned this, but and I'm thinking about it very seriously. Very seriously. Because uh, it's so important. How can, I, how can I sit here and preach to you, you know? If I didn't believe it in my heart that I want to do it. And it doesn't make any sense for my life at all. On paper, none. Zero. But I think it might be the most beautiful thing in the world. You know, maybe you feel like it's too late. It's not. It's not. Man, it's not. You probably think I'm sounding like a crazy man. I do t I do sometimes too. I do all the time. I do sometimes. <laughs> I tell you. Um, I, hear, I hear the words coming out of my own mouth and I'm like, man, Travis, what are you saying? But every word I say is, is resonates with everything I feel that God is. And it makes me shake sometimes. I was texting earlier tonight with my man J.O. From J.O. and Mike Maranatha. Amazing music. I, I know I, I'm not plugging it. Again, I never plug anything because I don't make money. You know, like, if you're going to plug something, you better at least make money out of it. I, I, I just do it to, you know, uh, hope I can bless you with, with good things, but but Jail and Mike Maranatha, man, their music, even if you're not into hip hop, they make hip hop and it's, it's, it's the best hip hop I've heard, you know, since the early 90s when I used to be into real, you know, real, real hip hop. What I viewed as, as real hip hop. But, um, yeah, I was texting with, uh, with Jail tonight and he sent me a, sent me a text. I want to go back and look at it because, uh, what he said was, it was amazing. He said, I, you know, it doesn't matter what I said, but he said, he said, you never know. He, he never ceases to amaze me. Each day goes by, the more I realize how unworthy of him I am and how, and how to, how worthy he is of praise, you know? <laughs> I said that horribly. He said, bro, I understand completely. You know, he never ceases to amaze me as each day goes by, the more I understand more I realize how unworthy I am of him and how 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 it's worthy he is of praise, you know? He is so man, when you really start to understand that, when you really start to understand that, there's nothing else you want to do but serve him. And what I told you on the text earlier really tonight about jail, uh, jail about uh, about that big job coming up, I think it is. I think it is. I think God gave me a little word on that. I don't know what it is, but I think you got something big coming. <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> oh, he's good. He's good. But their music is amazing. I, I got it running on on my radio station, Revelation Free Radio. If you've never been on Revelation Free Radio, it's an actual radio station. I, I explain things horribly in my life sometimes. It's an actual radio station. You can click on the link in the description. It, it's live 24-7, 365 days a year. It's got some amazing music, really timely music. It's got some old stuff, some new stuff. J.O. and Mike are on there. Uh, I just have really interesting uh, kind of the, the picture that, as, as you know, I did just throw music up there. It's like, as God led me, uh, what what music that's timely, that has good messages and things like that. And, and so there's about 100 songs in there that cycle through. And then, of course, all of these podcasts are on there. And I'm seriously considering, it's getting enough listeners now, I'm seriously considering doing like a daily morning call-in show you know, at like eight o'clock central or something like that for an hour or two every morning. Um, so if you guys are interested in that, let me know in the comments because I think that could be really fun. Um, you get to hear your guys' perspective on things and 
and shut my 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 pie hole for once, you know, this big old hole in my face. But um, but that's where we begin, and and that's where God is going to start aligning his men and women first, men and women first. When we're coming together, and and coming out, coming out of the world, coming out, it's men and women, the right men and women, the, the like like in the garden, like in the garden where it was just that perfect. Yahweh, man, woman, earth, the perfect love, you know, that, that Lucifer can't penetrate because God is going to keep us. God is going to keep us this time. We're, he's going to keep us safe from the enemy. You understand? And we get to experience that with someone else. So if you're feeling lonely and it's, and it's hopeless, it's not. And I'm telling you, it's going to be easy. It's going to be easy. It's just going to require faith and action. Faith in action and take action and trust your instincts, trust your common sense and trust what God is telling you. He'll never tempt you. God will never tempt you. But he will challenge you all the time. So if it's uncomfortable, it doesn't mean it's not from God. If it's uncomfortable, it means it is from God. Remember that. It's so important. It's one of those cheesy lessons I learned back in the, in the mid-90s when I first came to God. But it's true. He challenges you every time. It's never easy. When it's good, when it's from him, when it's major, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be hard. It's going to challenge you. It's going to stretch your legs, I like to say. Um, so let's really focus on that, focus our prayers on that and mostly our faith on that because I think, I think he's going to move quickly um, in your life. I really do. And then after that, we got to come together as, as a people and start, as I've been talking about, forming something in small groups small groups so you're prepared to really come together and share resources you know i you know the, it, there's a stigma now out there right because for for decades and decades is this cult stigma cult 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 well that was a setup too because now anybody who wants to survive in this new world outside of the system is going to be a cult 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 so get used to that word you know get used to that word you're a leper and you're in a cult, and that's 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 you, that's me, it's us, and I've never been happier. You know, where's my cult? You know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, um, like that's just what we're that's what we're going to be called. But really, we're just people that want to be left alone. We're just people of God that want to serve God and be left alone by the government. That's it. That's it. We follow natural law. We follow natural law. That's it. It's what we were born into. It's how we were born to live. That's what God created us for. So, man, I hope there's some conversations going out there. I hope I'm triggering something. Um, message somebody tonight. Message. Think of somebody. Just think of somebody you can even start a conversation with about this. Send them this video. Send them. Send them my link to my all my podcasts. Like, listen to this crazy dude. He's really talking some crazy stuff, but but maybe it's not all that crazy, and I really don't think it is. I think it's really simple. Sometimes I think in this world it's so upside down that that the simple stuff sounds crazy, and, and men and women coming together and having children, being happy together outside of electronics, and how is that crazy? <laughs> sounds like heaven to me, but maybe that's just me. And maybe I'll, uh, maybe I'll just go down with the ship, you know, solo or with a partner, you know. <laughs> but I don't think it's going to go down that way. I kid because I care. I, I have a weird, I hold back like, you know, 95% of my weird sense of humor on this channel. And, and, you know, maybe as time goes on, I'll, I'll get a little more, a little more crazy. Uh, I always thought I could <laughs> I could have could have been a decent stand up. I thought yeah, I had some good material back in the day, but but uh, whatever. It's I, you know we, we miss I miss laughing and comedy's gone. Comedy is just gone. Think about how horrible that is. Like talk about depressing humanity. If you ever want to read an interesting interesting um, chapter in the Bible, read Isaiah twenty four. The whole chapter Isaiah twenty four. And it just kind of goes through what we're living right now. It's basically just describing from the very first word what we're living right now and where we're going, you know. Uh, but but a lot of that is is about, you know, there's no more dancing. There's no more dancing, you know. Uh, there's no more joy. Everybody's locked in their homes. It's literally what it says. 
Every, you know, everybody's made equal. Everybody's like is a servant and and the master, and they're all the same. And everybody, you know, rights are taken away from everybody. And but but yeah, dancing is gone, and laughing is gone. There's no more laughing. And look what they've done to comedy, man. I used to love comedy. I used to love raw comedy. You know, raw, like piss me off kind of raw, or get close to it. You know, um, insult me even. But, but but make it obvious. And, and comedy is all about common sense. That's what's always been fun about comedy. Comedy, common sense, you know. Um, the funniest comedy is just pointing out common sense, ridiculous things about the world. And you can't do that anymore. You can't point out ridiculous things about the world because it's all censored. So then by default, comedy is censored because you can't be funny you know, look at how Johnny Carson made his his living. He was always making fun of the world and how stupid it worked. So they always did it. Now you can't do that anymore. So you take away laughing. Just another great way to take, you know, to destroy humanity. Which is all Lucifer's ever been trying to do. And now he thinks he's got us. And he's got a big, big problem. He's got a big problem. Because he's, uh, he's awoken some monsters. He's awoken some monsters, I'm telling you. <laughs> Whew. Power of God on some of these people that I've been uh, talking to is it's uh this next level. Uh is awoken some monsters. So anyway, um let's end tonight with prayer. I I, I want to pray for Coming together, mostly men and women, men and women, men and women, is what God is telling me over and over again for two months now almost. And uh, so I want to pray for that. I want to pray for it to be easy and, and obvious and simple. And, and uh, you'll have faith to do what you need to do. Yahweh, uh, man, you are so amazing. You're so amazing. We are so unworthy of everything about you. We, uh, I know for me, Yahweh, I, if it wasn't for you, I, I wouldn't be here. I know that. I wouldn't be alive today. And uh, let alone filled with your power and glory that you, uh, you are releasing in such amazing ways right now. I, I, I ask you to make it easy for us to understand what you want us to do when we're coming together as men and women and make those matches easy and simple and perfect so that it's effortless. So that for each party, for man and woman, that each one gets exactly what they need and what they've always needed and what they've always wanted from the other and that it's obvious and simple make those matches that easy and obvious and simple so I know you're capable of that give uh, give you people the faith through the Holy Spirit the faith the faith to believe that you're capable no matter the situation no matter the situation no matter how dire no matter how many years of pain no matter how no matter that guy she's hung up on no matter that guy she's hung up on and she knows she shouldn't be. Or that girl that he can't get over that hurt him. And he knows he, he knows he needs to move on, but there's just nothing to replace it. Replace it. Replace it for him. Replace it for her. With something better than they ever imagined. Something that touches them exactly where they need on the inside, you know? And those three or four words they've always wanted to hear that they've never heard in, the, in that particular sequence, in that particular person, and, and, and just let them know it's of you. And bring us together right now. Amen. Whoa. Well, thank you for joining me tonight. It's getting late. Um, I'm glad I jumped on. Uh, I hesitated. Because I felt like this video might be redundant a little bit from some of the things I've been saying, but but God uh, God clearly wanted me to uh, to discuss this tonight, so I hope it helped. Again, head over to avoidthemark.com/podcast. 
You can hear all my podcasts on there. I, I do my best to get them up on there as quick as I can after I release them on YouTube, but sometimes I get distracted and life happens, And uh, but I, I think I'm only one behind right now, and then I'll get this one up. So I'll have them up, uh, this one and, and, and the earlier earlier one from today I'll have up uh, probably tomorrow morning, but I, I got I don't know, 24, 25 other ones on there to listen to now that you probably haven't heard, and, and I, I just think there's a lot of good content on there that can help a lot of people, so. And uh, don't forget to head to Revelation Free Radio. The link is in the description. I think you'll enjoy it. It's a good place for us all to hang out. And like I said, if we can keep keep getting these listeners pumped up, um, you know, I, I would love to do a radio show in the morning. I think that'd be really, really fun. So we'll talk about that. Anyway, have a good night tonight, guys. Thank you for joining me, and we'll speak soon. Peace. <laughs>